Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News. Bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Monday, August 12th, 1 a.m. Mountain Time, 2019. You're looking at the Northern Passage, often known as the Northwest Passage. Purported to be ice-free uh, 20 years ago by many global warming alarmists in the late 80s and early 90s. This has never been ice-free and never been passable since the beginning of the global warming scare. Keep calm. It's boom time. Facts ahead. Damaging hailstorms hit Sheridan, Montana. Sheridan, severe thunderstorms hit southwest Montana Sunday afternoon, mostly from Dillon to Sheridan. Numerous reports of hail diameter one and two inches. That's cinches. Large hail causes damage in Townsend neighborhood. Bigger than crack rocks. Holy mackerel. Well, unless you're in. Anyway, Kathleen Millay said she had just returned home to Townsend Saturday afternoon while something outside caught her attention. Large crack rocks that she collected in this stainless steel barrel. All of a sudden, there were some big knocks on the roof and on the door. And it wasn't creepy guys looking to sell her weird subscriptions to magazines, she said. We just looked outside and all heck broke loose from the sky. Cosmic ray flux involved. Which three U.S. cities should prepare for an early chill this fall? Well, if global warming was true, none of them. Minnesota and Arizona are very little in common. One's north and one's south, except perhaps the extremes of one of their seasons. Which would you prefer, a Minnesota winter or an Arizona summer? There is a third choice. It's called fall, however, and the cities in these two states share the likelihood of an early chill. Not only that, we're going to get you some more interesting facts in just a second. In Arizona, Flagstaff and Tucson are forecast to have temperatures 1.5 to 2 degrees below normal this fall. While Minneapolis, Minnesota is forecast to have two to three week stretch during which temperatures could average three to six degrees below normal, which means it's going to snow in the fall in Minnesota. And it might even snow down in Tucson. Guys, if you were watching the channel for the last several years, you'll know last year, last winter, Tucson experienced snow on cactus time and time again, four, five, six, seven times. And if it's actually going to be two degrees colder, wow. It's anyone's guess if that saguaro cactus will make it through this winter. Last year, temperatures in Flagstaff were normal, and Tucson was 0.5 degrees above normal. And we saw that kind of precipitation. Insane. While Minneapolis was 2 degrees below normal, it's expected to be four, three to 4 more degrees colder than it was last year. And Tucson and Flagstaff are going to be 2 degrees, up to 2 degrees below normal. Yes. That's amazing. It's worth noting that the averages and stats referenced are from meteorolog meteorological fall, September through November, as opposed to late September through December, After which means it's going to be an earlier cooling than ever. <laughs> it's early. It's going to be meteorological fall. It already feels like fall here. Check out the video I did with Rex Bear today on his channel and mine. We were up above, uh, we were up near 12,000 feet and it was cold, hot and humid across the south, stormy and unsettled over the plains and northwest. Hot and humid weather will prevail over much of the south, southern U.S. this weekend. Meanwhile, multiple rounds of heavy rain and strong thunderstorms likely across the central and northern plains. Unsettled weather will persist in the Pacific Northwest, which is not marked at all on this map with any warnings, but they're still going to scare the out of you by mentioning it. USDA reports preview. Now, in just a few hours, about eight hours from now, the USD will release the results of its second planting, second planting survey. <clears throat> now, the first one was less than disingenuous, and this one may be the same. All eyes will be on what should be the first credible coin, corn crop estimate in 2019. It, will it be credible? Well, we'll see when they give us the date in the morning. Snow and high winds hammer southeast Australia. Slip another shrimp on the valley. Snow is falling on Canberra and falling on the Australian football match between the Greater Western Sydney Giants and Hawthorne Hawks on August 9th in Canberra. Look at that. It almost looks like little tiny creatures of fairies falling from the sky. 
no one's ever seen it. In Morse now, his parasha and thread bow is next call snap closes in and kangaroos. Yes, the roos are jumping in the white global warming goodness. Photos flooding claims more than 140 lives in western and southern India. It is a cosmic ray flux devastation nightmare. In addition to the lives lost, the number of people forced from their homes stands in the hundreds of thousands. After torrential monsoon rains and cosmic rays fluxed western and southern India. I can't make it up. I just report on it. <coughs> I can make this up. Acclaimed Israeli astrophysicists suggest the sun drives Earth's climate, not CO2, which was quickly taken down from Forbes after they published it. It took about three hours for them to remove the article, and they gleefully gave you access to the first paragraph but it did not meet their paradigm. It did not meet the multinational corporations' requirements for climate reporting, which is do not report on the facts because it will confuse people. Now, if you want to know the facts, Electroverse has them documented in perpetuity. Niv Shaviv, an Israeli astrophysicist and chairman of the Jerusalem Hebrew University of Physics, Physics Department, says his research and that of his colleagues suggests that rising CO2 level plays only a minor role in Earth's climate compared to the influence of the sun and cosmic rays, which is a boom, which we already knew. Now, the fear mongers are going to be freaking out because sea ice thickness has turned the cusp already early in August. By mid-August, we're building ice. It's leveled out. The Northwest Passage has never been passable. And there is over five meters of ice in some areas in northern Canada. And look at the turnover here. Multi-decadal averages cusping up. And we could be beginning to see some of the record numbers we're looking for. Northwest Passage, a joke. Never happening. Greenland losing ice catastrophically, not happening at all. Uh... The surface mass gain has moved up to less than four gigatons per day, which is up in multi-decadal averages. In just about eight weeks, we should be gaining ice in Greenland. Yeah, because the melt season only lasts for three months, if that. We fell below uh, end of May and we'll come above sometime end of August. 2.6 <coughs> magnitude earthquake near Oliver on the... Uh, Canadian lower 48 boundary, major shock to residents, but a 2.6 shouldn't be a major shock to anyone. So they must not get earthquakes here quite often. We're going to be looking at seismic update. There's the boom on the Canadian U S line coming in at 2.6, 5.9 kilometers. It was right on the surface. So it was felt if you live near there. We have a cacophony of quakes in Frackville. No other quakes of note. Nothing is happening. Standard activity. The next solar cycle begins in 2020 and may be a panic decline in solar activity. Yes, if you know the work of Zarkova, you know that 2028 is the beginning of complete failure of all crops worldwide. And if this is where we are right here in 2020, we're going to have a slight uptick through 2024 in the solar max, in the markets, and then a crashing defeat through 2028. Read the article. Armstrong is seldom wrong because he uses facts, just like we do. Perseid meteor shower. <clears throat> How and when to see one of the best astronomical events of the year? Drink lots of liquids and look up August 12th and 13th. That's tomorrow and the next day. Shooting stars are about to rain down from the heavens. And illuminate the night sky. Get the facts. The Perseid meteor shower is one of the most popular astronomy events in the night sky. Catch the peak on the night of August 12th and 13th, when our planet travels through Comet Swift Tuttle's debris field. You can always rely on the Perseids boasting up to 100 meteors per hour, streaking over a cool summer night. Unfortunately, there will be competition. A near full moon will rise during peak shower. Much of the fainter meteors will be washed out of sight. You may still see some shooting stars though. To conserve your night vision, keep the moon out of your sight at all times. 
The meteors appear to originate from the constellation Perseus, looking northeast. But you don't have to look in that direction either. The best time to view the shower is after midnight. For the latest in space, look up with AccuWeather Astronomy. You never know what you'll see. Look up, look northeast, and you'll see the beast from the northeast, the Perseids. Shooting stars are about to rain down from the heavens and illuminate the night sky. There it is. A meteor streaks across the sky during the Perseids on the morning of August 12, 2015. Well, you can see the same thing on the morning of August 12, 2019. Go outside, you lazy. Why humans in Africa fled the mountains during the last ice age? Same reason Diamond fled to the mountains for this one. Read the paper. Now, did you hear about this? I've been doing some research on bionics and exoskeletons because I like to do that in my free time. And the future has arrived. Unfortunately, it's really sucky. And we're going to show you the proof of the suckiness of future. If you think that we're on the cusp of some amazing robotic superhuman technology, they're either lying to us or withholding uh, the information. Because I'm going to show you a video on this exosuit, the cutting edge technology, which can allow you to walk 12 miles and reduce the stress on your body by less than 15 percent yeah i was thinking it would like quadruple your resiliency but it barely gives you a rest and that's in within the range of error well, what i mean by that is as they're training these athletes to use these exoskeletons they could actually be performing better because they're more trained and the data might be flawed here's the facts take a look and judge for yourself Do a dab, do it now. Placebo Robotics, coming to you live from the Alzheimer Ranch Project. This might not even be uh, electrified, <laughs> it is a complete farce. And if I put a bunch of crap on you and say you're going to walk better and more efficiently, you know what will happen? You will walk better and more efficiently, in my humble opinion. All this money is wasted in simply providing for these people to buy groceries and pay the rent. No breakthroughs here. 15% increase on a 12 mile walk is bullshit. Facts. Wow, I can't even believe that. Deniers deflated as climate reality hits home. Now, according to D Smog blog, 
<laughs> which is a total shark. Climate deniers are becoming desperate as their numbers diminish. Well, I, I digress, but our numbers are increasing at the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Subscribers are increasing by about a thousand a month. And people are sharing our videos and more people are awakening, awakening every day to the facts of real climate, climatology, climate cycles, and the facts that the sun controls climate, not you, not man, and CO2 is plant food. So Dismog Blog are grasping for straws because their readership is dwindling because people are picking up what we're putting down. And that's all the time I'll give there. But I'll leave links below so you can read the poo-poo and smell the doo-doo for yourself. Go get it. The solar minimum is absolutely terrifying world governments. But they're not reporting it to you. And it should be. It should be terrifying. The predictions are in. By the end of the next solar minimum in a decade, oh, it's going to be bad. Really bad. <coughs> Check out Vox HPT Wellness Defined. Why? Because I have no idea. Because it's up here and I don't know why it's up. But it's awesome. I've been sharing this for two years. The new grand minima. If you can't afford the books by David Dubine and other authors, getting you ready for the preparations needed for the changing times ahead, here's a free PDF I'll, sh I'll share with you below. 34 pages by Brent Walker, friend of the channel presented look at that six years ago plus to the actuaries the actuary summit uh in sydney australia now they were talking six years ago in sydney australia about not shrimps on the barbie but about the changing sun and how to fix the climate and how these resilient systems are about to collapse and what that means to the insurance industry. So come check out the PDF because it has all the details and you do not need to pay for it. It talks about the new solar grand minima, variations in sun's emissions, the solar cycles, and thus and such, including mag magnetic portals, sun force and climate change, stratospheric volcanic eruptions as a result of increased cosmic rays, heating the muons in the subsurface, and on and on including historical documentation of UK weather from 1780 to 1820 during the last grand minima and Australian weather from thus and such and such and thus. Get the facts and read the document. <coughs> Boom! Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. Share this video with others, like-minded people. Share it with douchebags that won't believe it because it will blow their mind and they'll hate you. And that's our point here. Get the message out. Share this information now. Thank you to our new Patreons. $10. Boom. And others, one-time donors. If you're coming to Crestone, it's in the middle of nowhere. If you've never been to the middle of nowhere, please join us next weekend in Crestone, the creepiest city on the planet owned by the man who invented global warming that is now populated by the most diverse group of spiritual and intellectual gurus. Creating the new paradigm for the future. It is completely mind-blowing. And we're going to slowly pick it apart in the coming days. CrestoneEnergyFair.com Links below. Share this video with like-minded people. We love each and every one of you. Proper prior planning prevents piss-poor performance. Do it now. Do it now.